Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Design in Centric Sim City. My name is Strict Toaster and this is our Omega Co. factory, or at least one of them, because we have three. And look at all that purple smoke. We're taking our entire airspace. Uh, yeah. Anyways, welcome back. I'm gonna speed things up just so we can get into daytime very soon. And uh, last time we were here, we just finished zoning and waiting for you know the actual buildings to start being created, just like what's happening right here, as you can see. And um, I think this is looking very nice so far. And uh, in the meantime, we'll wait for daytime. Uh, I have a few comments that I want to address uh, from some of you uh, who left a comment in the previous videos. And um, let me let me start. I have a list here. Uh, I want to get the names right this time around. Passion Power Performance said um, that uh, I should build uh, another pass and um, an underpass connecting the entrance of the city to the other side for uh, easing the traffic. And also he suggested that I should probably build a railroad track just going through the middle of the neighborhood uh, because this is our miserable town, you know. Like train going through your your backyard is probably a thing that that it's you know common <laughs> for a miserable town. So um, I'm I don't know if I'm gonna do an underpass from the entrances on, of the city to the outskirts of it, but I think I want to tackle all the the train tracks going through the neighborhoods. I think that's a, that's a cool idea, and maybe we can have a bunch of uh, houses. What is that? What are those green explosions? Did you see that? It was. Somewhere around here too. Maybe that means that the house just got people in it. I don't know. Anyways, not to get sidetracked. Uh, wow, a lot of people are using this main freeway. Oh, did you see that? The, the green sparks. What are those? Yeah, I think it's just people moving into the houses. But anyways, uh, now that we are in daytime and you can see actually what I'm doing, I want to slow things down a little, a little bit just so you can admire the traffic while I keep reading some of the comments. And uh, Don, Don Jamin uh, said that, or suggested that maybe it would be a good idea to have sewage and garbage and uh, maybe even water in this city, which I think is a great idea as well, because I mean, this one is like where people live, especially rich people. So having all this service buildings right here makes it doesn't make that much sense, and 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 we talked about like getting cleaning this up a bit because it just doesn't look right. So I think I'm going to do that as well in this episode, and um, I think I should probably start with that. Um, and of course, yeah, this uh, this has been pointed out by many many people in the uh, in the comments. Uh, but I right 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 here I only have a uh, Hatchet Machines username, uh, who I think was the first one who who said it. That uh, the actual um, VTOL pods will actually uh, import the um, processors. So we don't really need to import this from here, actually. Oh, look, we're making a profit. How about that? So in that case, let's just get rid of this, actually, altogether. I mean, we're going to need the freight, but I'm going... Oh, I should have I should have saw that before. That looks weird. Also, someone in the comments, I, I honestly don't remember your name, said that this looked kind of ugly. And um, I think I agree. Let me see if I can... I mean, I'm not like too disturbed by it, but maybe I can... Oh, I actually can put them on the other side of the road. That's That looks better, I think. Let's see. There we go. This is actually really nice. And of course, I'm missing a sign. Yes, this sign. Over there, there we go. Good. Okay, so this is looking great. We have our Omega Co thing going. Uh, what is this? I produced yesterday. This means that it produced less than today. Why is it? Why is it red? I don't understand. And uh, here, producing drones. Blah, blah blah. This is fine. This is fine as well. I mean, we're making a lot of money. This is this is amazing. And I haven't even touched the taxes yet. So. Let's uh, let's start with the uh, garbage dump because I think this will be a great spot for it. If you if you don't mind me uh, suggesting it, so we're gonna have. I kind of want to have this city. Let me look at the region real quick. 
Uh, I think the city can get the garbage from here, here, and maybe even here. So four cities. Uh, we're going to need a bunch of uh, air incinerators or garbage incinerators. Not there. I cannot incinerate the air. But uh, we can do something like this. And uh, we're going to go right up to there. Maybe we can fit uh, another landfill over there. One over here. One over there. I should have maybe drawn a road back here. Uh, uh -huh, it won't allow me. I think this is this is more than enough for now. Let me add some garages like that, like that, like that, like that, like that, and like that. In fact, let's add two more, even though it's illegal. Actually, oh, you don't allow me. Okay, you're smart. I was just trying to outsmart the game, but I guess I I wasn't I meant to. And uh, okay, this is looking good so far. Let me go to the region view and tell these guys that I'm gonna provide with eight garbage trucks. Maybe let's do. You know what? Let's do ten. And uh, it's likely that we're gonna have a second garbage dump, so we can have more. Uh, trucks collecting all that. In fact, maybe we can even do recycling and um, actually make money out of that. So I don't know, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. And there they go, the, the garbage trucks. Uh, I'm sure they're gonna go first to the city and then to the other one, but uh, we'll see. Let's speed things up a bit more and uh, let's start thinking about rail here because, so this is coming through here and then it's making a turn and going into there. So maybe we can have a line that goes pretty much around the city and connects back to this sort of main line. Let's go to the proper menu, trains, and uh, now we have the edges of the city. So I'm thinking of having a train track just following, basically following this avenue here. I think I want a better curve than this. Actually, I think I need to do three by three. No, I need to do four by four, especially for trains. Trains are kind of picky when it comes to curves and slopes. But I mean, this is looking really nice. Look at that. Um, I don't think I can have any intersections here though, because it's too close. Yep. Maybe I want to leave a gap. Maybe I want to leave a gap. I think I'm going to leave a gap over there. And uh, yes, in fact, you know what? Let's just go right, uh, right up against the edge. Actually, we can come through here. Can we? Uh, this is going to be not good. Yeah, train tracks and their connections are not the best in this game, but um, I mean, I can just do, I can do this and it will work. But this is such a sharp turn for a train, but it doesn't really matter what I do because it's going to get converted into that anyway. So uh, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. So let me extend this up to here. And let's see, I think I can have the train tracks coming I want to have a station in the industrial area and in a station in the... Oh my god, we have fire. Oh my god, we have fire and we have no fire protection. I'm sure you noticed that before me and you were like, Dude, your city's on fire. Fix it. But I was like totally not paying attention. So let's get our fire station here. Let's plop a bunch of uh, these bad boys. Get a bell and the flagpole and exit and go full speed hopefully that will take care of the fire we have some health issues wow 105 death a day that's crazy okay let's add a um, clinic this is this is pretty much a miserable town like i said uh, i think a clinic will be nice here actually can I fit it there? Nope. Can
Can I fit it here? Maybe. Right in the middle of the dump that this city is. Um, it's not very realistic. So I'm gonna... Uh -huh. Where can I put it? Uh, you know what, let's just put it in like a central area. So there's quick access to the entire city, like there. And now I can extend it like that and like that and have a bunch of ambuli like that, like that, like that, and like that. Actually, hmm, this looks kind of funky. Let's just leave it at that. Only three ambulances should uh, should work, I think. I hope. I pray. Is this is uh, up and running. Yes. Oh, this is on like uh, normal street, so maybe I want to increase the density here, just because it will require a lot of traffic of you know of these trucks coming in and out. And, um, all right, things are looking okay. Let me get rid of the rubble and abandoned houses. Just like so. Oh, we're making mad profit. Okay, we have some power issues. Crude oil supply. Oh, yeah, okay. Turn that on. There we go. Problem solved, I guess. Ooh, we don't have an excess. Is it because you're not operating at full capacity? I don't understand. Are you well? You're obviously buying from the other city. I'll produce you fifty percent. Okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. Sounds good. So you cannot really see anything at night in this game. Man, I wish there was a mod to like not have nighttime at all. Just disable it completely because it's just so horrible. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to have close-ups so you don't get bored while the, the night shift ends. And, um, yeah, I was doing the rail and I totally got sidetracked. Let's come back here. Uh, I wish I could follow the curve a bit better here, but, uh, you know what, let's do this instead. Maybe this will work. That works, I think. We can have a bunch of... Uh, we haven't done a lot of uh, tree plopping in the city yet, so... Let's do that right now. Let's have some trees. Randomly placed, like that. This will help a lot with aesthetics. Trees always look nice. Cacti, maybe not so much, but I mean, the, the, the desert has sort of an appeal to it anyways. I don't know, I like it. I mean, I live in the desert, basically. LA is a big desert, even even though it has basically irrigation for palm trees like you see in the movies, but it's basically built in a desert. So if humans were not here, this would, place would dry up in like a week or something like that. It's actually really ridiculous. Uh, there's this show on, um, I think it was on History Channel, Life After Humans or something like that, where it actually shows what would happen like many years in the future. I don't know if you saw it, but it's, it's kind of bad, but it's interesting at the same time, so I don't know. Feel free to check it out on, I think it's, pro it's probably on Netflix. I think I saw it on Netflix. And, uh, all right. Oh, that looks so much better now that we have trees. Check that out. Look at this. This is insane. So much nicer. We have some bushes here, some forests of cacti. All right, enough uh, chatter. Let's continue with our train situation. Let's slow down the, the speed of the game. Uh, health still a problem, but I'm sure it will get fixed by itself, I hope. Otherwise, we're gonna have uh, some issues. Yeah, this looks terrible. We're gonna fix that, so don't worry. We're gonna do four by four. And uh, we're gonna curve this like that. This bothers me quite a bit. This one, not so much, because it actually... Yeah, this one looks nice. So what I'm thinking is, coming through here, 
uh, going maybe tunnel under from here to here and then coming put it in a station here and then come through the middle of this neighborhood maybe even go under this overpass and somewhere all the way to here and then connect back so i might have to bulldoze quite a bit of this area of town but um we'll see we'll see how how things go by the way i'm making so much money right now it's not even funny and um that's a good thing that's a great thing because the other city was not making that much money actually okay so i need to go back at least these many tiles maybe and one more one more there we go i kind of want to have dirt around the entrance of the tunnel so let's do that All right, this is actually really pretty. In fact, you know what? Oh, okay. This is this is gonna this is gonna blow your mind. This is going to blow your mind. I can have. Oh, this is gonna look terrible, but it's gonna blow your mind. So, it's worth it. Oh my god, that is the worst graphic glitch ever. Um, let me let me try that again. Uh, maybe here. And uh, can I have an angle here, maybe? Oh, man. So this is what I want to do. I want to have like a rail yard here that is connected to this. And I, so I can put a the uh, add-on from the trade depot onto the rail, which uh, I mean, I can do it now, but it will look more realistic if I do it like this and just have a second train track sort of come on the side. So one is for loading and loading, and the other one is for just passengers going through the city. And uh, maybe I can have, uh, let's see. Because if I can get a... Can I do something like this? And uh, maybe coming like this towards this spot I'm, I'm totally eyeballing this by the way in case you didn't notice um, no I don't like this I like the idea but not the outcome what is your problem building fire too many deaths building fire but now we have coverage, people, come on. What are these trucks? Are these delivery trucks? Omega light truck, yeah. Okay, uh, it's gonna stay like that for now. Let me complete the, the entire tracks. And um, so wait, how do I turn around here? Can I go under this? Yes. Now the question is, where do I want to put my stations? And because um, if I can, I actually go over some of these uh, buildings with a bridge, maybe. Oh, I can. Oh, interesting. This changes everything. Actually, hang on, hang on. Oh, this might look terrible. So I apologize in advance. How, do, how does that look? I wish you can just sustain the height of the bridge and not just have like this thing here. And then I can like turn here. This looks very miserable to me, to be honest. Uh, I might keep that for now. I, I want to try to improve it later, but I actually really like how that looks. So let's continue our line here, maybe up to here. And uh, this is where I want it to curve, I suppose. Uh, four by four, that should be enough. That's a nice little curve. 
Oh man, the slope is terrible here. Okay, no, this is not, not acceptable. Let's get rid of this tunnel. Actually, you know what? Let's get rid of this module until we decide how this is going to look like. And uh, let's try that again. In fact, you know what? We can, maybe we can get our way with, by doing something like that. This might actually work, hang on. So if we have a train track maybe here, or maybe here, this might work. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, that looks amazing. That is totally staying like that. And um, maybe this would be a good spot for a rail yard. Maybe, yes, perhaps. Not so much. Maybe it's too many <laughs> rail pieces. Uh, let's uh, let's continue this road just as a guide. Uh, let's get rid of that. Can I connect these somehow? Like that. Curve is probably too sharp for this. Actually, wait. I mean, I'm not gonna leave it like that. Just I'm just trying things out. Uh, yeah, this is not the right game for this, unfortunately. So maybe we can connect this like this. That is actually very organic, the way it's uh, it works, and I like it, like it a lot. So wait, let's see if we can actually pull this off. Oh man, it would be so amazing if I can just drag a straight piece of rail this way, because I could have, yeah. <laughs> Stupid game is so limited sometimes. Anyways, let's just blob this here where it was. I'm happy with that. It's gonna stay like that at least for now. So this part right here is where I have, where I'm having second thoughts, because this bridge, I mean, let's, you know what, let's trade again. Let's, uh, let's see if we can have a bridge going all the way across, maybe. Why, why won't you let me? I wonder if place buildings, which place buildings? I don't see any place buildings. Is it because of the clinic? I can get rid of the clinic. I don't care. Goodbye, clinic. We're gonna put you somewhere else. Just, um, just for a moment. This is a temporary clinic, so don't don't worry too much about it. If it doesn't look nice, it's it's okay. Yeah, for ambulate, whatever. Um, I just want to get this bridge done uh, properly. So let's try that one more time. And my mic seems to. Uh, or my headphones. I think I touched the cable and now it sounds weird. So sorry about that. If uh, I hope the recording goes well. Let's uh, let's do this. Come on. Come on. You oh, there we go. So much better. Uh, so let's see. How far can we go? I'm pretty sure that we can go all the way. We should be able to go all the way. Oh yes, yes. There we go. Now that's a miserable town. That's a proper urban uh, vi viaduct, viaduct, viaduct. Um, oh man, that is totally staying like that. I love it. I think it's. I think it looks great. Uh, it kind of competes with this, but 
Now, the, the, the thing is, I can't have stations in this area. That's the only issue. But I can have a station over here, so let's just let's plan it. You know what? Let's just put it here. I mean, we're going to have neighborhoods in here as well, I'm, supp I'm supposing. Oh, we have already medium density buildings. Uh, let's see. Where can we put our station? You know what? Let me clear this up. And um, where can we put our station? Let's see. Uh, this is... Uh, oh man, that, that was totally not the right tool for the job. I want to see the stone in here because I don't remember. Okay, this is commercial. Let's fix that. This is commercial and uh, this is most likely going to be residential. Wow, those are two weird planes. Stop getting sidetracked, Street Toaster. Come on, focus, focus. Yeah. <laughs> That's just my alter ego. Just telling me what to do. Okay. Uh, <laughs> We're going to do our old trick where we drag. We will have to redo this again. Let's, uh, let's mix or fix this. So, if we want this spacing between the road and the tracks, we can... Uh, do we want to do it like this? Uh, we probably want to use the guides. The guides are too far away. You know what? We're going to use this instead. So. Let's see, how can we... We're gonna get a road here. Oh, come on. And then we're gonna get a road here. So, um, this should allow us to put some train tracks. Maybe if we, if we want the train tracks on this side, then we can put the station. I think that's how it was. Yeah, because I had never done it with an avenue. That's that's the only reason why I'm doubting that this would work. So now we're gonna get rid of this. Yes, get rid of this, get rid of this. And this is where I want my train tracks to be placed, basically. So like that, we're gonna clear this out. We're gonna clear this out. Let's see if this works. Um, <laughs> I don't have enough space now. Okay, no, I didn't do it right. But uh, actually, yeah, this makes no sense because this is a road and this is an alley. Okay, sorry about that. Let's, you know what? Let's just use what we had before. It was okay. It's no big deal. No big deal. This will be an easy fix. So I think we're gonna go up to there. Uh, we're gonna have two roads like very close to each other in this case we're gonna have the avenue we're gonna have the avenue like i said there we go this is high density and i mean we can easily connect this like that uh maybe even with a curve high density like that come on we can do it i have faith in you game come on uh, this is so easily done, and it's not happening for whatever reason. I hate it when that like little piece of road you can't like really bulldoze like that. All right, now let's go through it. There we go. Uh, looks weird. We'll we'll fix that. We'll come back to that. Actually, you know what? We don't need this anymore. I think. We can basically do this. Okay, now it's symmetric and now I like it. So let me connect the rail just like so. And there it is. That's looking nice. 
this part right here. I mean, I feel like it doesn't really follow the curve, unfortunately. But there's, I mean, honestly, if, if I was able to connect it at an angle, it would have been so much easier and so much better. But I guess, I guess that's it. But I'm really, really liking this uh, overpass right here. So anyways, the city's going, uh, it's doing okay. Uh, has run out, but you should be importing this. Why are you not importing this? What is wrong with this? Are you, did you just turn it off? Oh my God, okay, this is bad. Why is this happening? Crude oil supply, it's, you should be global deliveries on, come on. Don't let me, I mean, unless I do it with a trade board. I think it's just a bug because it didn't click this button before when I plopped the the thing uh, in the beginning. But um, I think the city overall is doing okay. I will uh, continue the rail in the next episode. And uh, of course you can let me know if you like this, uh, this layout or not. I might make some small changes off camera just to adjust various, I'm sorry, various things, especially this part right here, if I can. But uh, I'm liking this so far. I mean, it's very organic and sort of breaks the grid, which is something that I like. I like this curved uh, tunnel under the um, the trade depot or the trade port for the for that matter. Uh, I'm probably gonna move back the clinic to somewhere central, so they don't the ambulances don't have to travel all over town. We have so much pollution; it's not even funny. Um, but yeah, that, that was it for this episode, so please don't forget to give it a rating, and also don't forget to subscribe see if you haven't already. We're, which I just broke 9,000 subscribers, so we're on our road to 10,000, so let me, help me get there, people, come on, we can, we can do this, we can totally do this. Anyways, um, also feel free to follow me on Twitter and Twitch, and like it on Facebook, so, um, enough with my personal marketing. And um, I just want to thank you for watching, I guess. Uh, that's, that's at least that's where I care the most. You're watching this. Otherwise, why would I be doing this? Uh, why is this not futurized? Uh, I keep getting sidetracked in this episode. But hey, things things are looking nice and we're on the right track. And um, we'll, we'll return in a few days with, uh, with another episode of Design Centric Sim City. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.